The taste when you go out there, it's 105 degrees. Yeah, a little bit, but um, you know, after a while, you get kind of used to it. Uh, we've been doing this really all summer, so you know, it's kind of a little easier to kind of handle. Which is some of the newer guys? Uh, really throw out you know, the guys did great. You know, the new guys are, you know, they still have like a little learning curve, but overall, they did pretty good. And I'm expecting good things out of them. What about you and your your transition? I guess where are you in position? You still with the middle guys? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm just training with them for right now. But uh, you know, wherever I am, you know, uh, whatever I have to be, um, I have to do my best. I know you started down in the spring, and now you're there in the fall. How, how does that uh, move been for you? How, how do you like it? Oh, it's been great, man. Um, Coach Saban put me in a position to uh, kind of try out and. Uh, basically, for right now, I'm, I'm, I'm still there for right now. But uh, wherever you push me, you know, that's what I have to do. What's What's different about that spot as opposed to where you were in the past? Um, just being able to run from sideline to sideline. Uh, you know, it takes a little bit more effort. But uh, overall, man, I think I've pretty much adjusted pretty good. How much does it help having Ruben and Sean Dion there? Oh, I absolutely. Um, great. To be honest with you, um, the great mentors to me, um, with them being able. Uh, with them having experience at the position, it's helped me a lot with um, transitioning from outside linebacker to inside linebacker. What's that like for, for running plays? What's what's your responsibility? How's that different from a? Uh, just being able to hold my gaps, you know, little things like that. Um, being able to have better eyes, I would say, um, and pretty much that probably be it. So you have better eyes. Um, just looking at my keys, really, to be honest with you, um, I think from outside linebacker to inside linebacker, you have a little bit more keys, more things you have to look at, and that's probably one of the biggest things I have to work on. Was it tough leaving your outside linebacker group to go inside? Yeah, uh, it was a little bit. That's my group, man. But um, I love my inside group just as much. Um, I, I fell in, falling in love with both positions, and um, to be honest with you, man, both both sides of the ball. So, um, other than that, man, it's, it's been a pretty good transition for me. Ball here. I changed it. I got a little change. This is my camp look for right now. <laughs> uh, in past coverage, how, how do you think you've been doing with that? Uh, I've been doing all right. Uh, but overall, I've just been trying to, you know, learn the little things, uh, which is learning plays, all those things like that. What's the hardest part about that, the past coverage? Um, it's just the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm so used to house on linebacker, you know, rushing. So I just got to get used to, you know, dropping back and doing coverages and stuff like that. You talk about going sideline to sideline. Do you feel like that's a role that kind of fits you well for some speed and some of your athleticism? Um, yeah, I would think so. Um, I think that's the reason why Coach Saban put me in that spot for me to be able to do things like that. And um, right now, I'm loving it. That kind of lateral range is kind yeah, of Yeah, lateral range. range. Um, it's a lot different from my soul linebacker, but for all around, man, I've been, I've been liking it so far. What do you got from Coach Woods, uh, Coach Sal? Uh, just be really to be patient with it, not to rush anything, and to really just give it all I got. How different is he from Coach Smart though? Um, they're the same. They they both had the same concepts. Um, I love both coaches as a matter of fact, and I know Co um, Coach Pruitt would just uh, do the things that Kirby did as well, and um, you know just help us out you know, going into the season. Personality wise, like how do they compare though? Uh, they're about the same. They're both hardcore coaches, and they're both specific when they coach and. You know, basically, they're pretty pretty patient with their players, and um, they're really hands on. Rashawn, what what are you weighing right now, and do they want you to get a little bigger to play? In? Um, right now, I'm wearing like 230, 231. Um, I want to at least get up to 240. Uh, that's my goal right now. But for right now, I'm, I'm kind of just you know playing it by hand right now. Sorry if you already answered this, but what what's been the hardest part you know about learning that middle linebacker position? Kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, really just. Being able to transition from outside line to inside line, but I can just kind of learn my pass coverages and uh, probably just like my eyes, <clears throat> being better with my eyes, seeing my keys and stuff like that. See guys who are trying to cut weight, but how hard is it to actually add weight and good weight? Uh, weight yeah, it, it is very difficult to be honest with you. Just with all the running that we've been doing, it's kind of hard to kind of gain some mass. But um, you know, hopefully day by day, I you know eventually gain the weight. Why is it important to gain the weight? Uh, I wouldn't say it's too important, but I guess it's just there for me to be able to, you know, brace more impact, you know, uh, whenever I'm brushing, to be able to have more power, little things like that. We asked a couple players yesterday about the media training. Mm -hmm. What What's that like for, to, to go through one of those classes, and what do you learn? What Has there been any kind of funny 
conversations that they brought up, things, you know, hey, this is how you answer certain things? Or? Um, Just for me to train, just be comfortable, be be relaxed. Don't try to rush any questions or rush any answers that you uh, answer, questions that you answer. But uh, other than that, just to kind of be yourself. Um, and that'd probably be it, you know. Make funny stories, experiences from the classes? Uh, not so far, not right now, though. But I probably will hit some. You've been through the playoffs now a couple times. Mm. If you could say to the committee, hey, I'd like to see this change, scheduling anything, what would it be? Mm, it probably wouldn't be anything. I mean, I'm pretty happy for with the stuff that we have now. Um, I, I haven't had any problems with it so far, so I'd probably say that. Do you think it's important for, in the semis? You know, they say we want the players to have the bowl experience. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's important? Oh, uh, absolutely. I think the bowl experience is very important. Um, it's, it actually was fun for me, and I enjoyed it. Because John, you're one of the five players. Stars. Came in as a five-star kid, you know, really highly touted. But you had to sit. What's that like? You kind of have mm -hmm. to kind of swallow your pride or what, and kind mm -hmm. of. Learn that process. So it's um, you, you really, when you come in, you really kind of gotta be able to um, just kind of adjust to the fact that you might not be playing, you know, right off the back. But um, you know, every guy, has, every guy who's before me has done the same thing. So you kind of have to have that kind of mentality and just get better. And eventually, once your opportunity, once the opportunity presents itself, you know, you gotta be ready.